It's a bumpy road. Hello world, my name is Artemis and this, this is a space where you and I get to ask some deep questions about life and see if we can come up with the courage to give some real answers, some honest answers that will get us moving in the right direction. It's time to reinvent ourselves. The other day I was having a conversation with this elderly gentleman who happened to be a doctor and he was telling me something really interesting that caught my attention. He says, uh, who's more important, a doctor or a bus driver? People really think that doctors are more important uh, because they feel like they're putting their, their life into the doctor's hands. But the same thing with a bus driver. You and another 40 or 50 people put your lives in the hands of one person who doesn't have nearly as much training as as the doctor. And I'm not, I'm not saying that being a bus driver is easy or anything. I'm just saying when you compare experience and, um, and training, there's a lot more that goes into a doctor's training. Uh, when, you're, when you go in for a procedure, there's so many more things, so many more controls. There are people assigned to those controls. There are, there's a team of people that help the doctor. The driver, on the other hand, is, is by himself and there are so many more situations that are not controlled around him. The, the people, there's road rage, there's bad traffic, there's things happening on the bus. Who is more important, the doctor or the bus driver? I thought that was a really good example to show how tricky it is sometimes to understand some of life's basic principles and how confused we are by what we see in life. You see, we're extremists by nature. We tend to maximize things that are really not very important, but minimize things that are extremely important. I guess I'll just have to live alone for the rest of my life. I'll never find the right job. Oh, don't worry about it. One more pint of ice cream is really not gonna affect your health that much. That's why we really gotta find a way in our lives in our, in our everyday dealings with things, with people. Look deep into the situation and to analyze toward what extreme we're naturally inclined because it's probably the wrong direction. It's probably our extremist nature acting up instead of our reasoning. What we need to understand and to wrap around our big head is this really important idea that that most of our life's problems are really illusions. We make too big of a deal out of nothing. I wasn't even ready for this. I just came out here to shoot the scenery. It is really hot out and I didn't bring any water. Saw a really nice view from the side of the road. Thought I'd check it out. Ended up doing a whole hike and then seeing this remains of some ancient fortress thing here. Check it out. Took me like 20 minutes to get up here. How about this view? Doesn't it just want to make you subscribe to this channel? I've never been this close to free roaming cows, so I'm not sure if turning my back on them is a very smart idea. But all those minor problems that we stress out over in our everyday life, all they are is a decoy from those things that really warrant our attention. Those major decisions that we need to be making. The big question for us then is how are we supposed to see through the illusions and have peace instead of stressing out over the little things? See, the problem is we can't just get peace. Even when being in a peaceful place, if you're stressing out, you're stressing out. It's really hard to break free from that on your own. That's why it's so important to analyze our situations and to see through the facade and through the the decoys to look at the bigger question. The biggest question is, do you want to live with stress or do you want to find peace? And if you want to find peace in your life, you will be quick to discover that there is no peace in this world unless it is in God. Jesus says, come to me all who are burdened and I will give you rest. Hey, if you're new to this channel, I hope you got something out of this video. And I want to point out a couple of buttons below this video for you to push. One is a big red button for you to subscribe. The other one's a smaller but not less significant bell notification for you to be notified when a new video comes up. If you click those, you'll make a lot of people really happy.